Good afternoon, Trinity. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, we have sunshine here and it's really nice to um, see the sun for a change after two or three gloomy days. So I hope you're enjoying it and maybe having a chance to get out and go for a walk and, and soak in some rays. Um, today would have been our, our final Lenten service, our final Holden Evening Prayer. And uh, we had been looking forward to having our partner congregation, um, All People's Gathering, join us. Um, but obviously that's not going to happen. Today, the theme would have been courage. It was the last um, of the core values of our Greater Milwaukee Synod. I think right now with everything going on, courage is definitely something that we could all use something that we can all aspire to as we live courageously through these next um, few weeks and maybe months. Uh, many people out in the world are doing very courageous things, uh, especially our healthcare workers uh, and others who are taking care of those who have the coronavirus. Courage is something that the Holy Spirit is often very generous with, with his people, giving us courage to do new things, uh, courage to do things that might be outside of our comfort zone, courage to imagine things that maybe we never imagined before, which is one of the things um, in the scripture passage that I wanted to share with you about this theme. It comes from Ezekiel chapter 37 verses 1 to 14, Ezekiel's vision of the dry bones and how God's spirit puts new life into what seems dead. So hear these words from Ezekiel 37, verses 1 through 14. The hand of the Lord came upon me, and he brought me out by the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me all around them. There were very many lying in the valley and they were very dry. He said to me, mortal, can these bones live? I answered, "O oh Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh, dry bones, Hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. I will lay sinews on you, and will cause flesh to come upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I had been commanded, and as I prophesied, suddenly there was a noise, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to its bone. I looked, and there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, mortal, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood on their feet, a vast multitude. Then he said to me, Mortal, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say, our bones are dried up and our hope is lost. We are cut off completely. Therefore prophesy and say to them, thus says the Lord God, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you back to the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people. I will put my spirit within you and you shall live, and I will place you on your own soil. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken and will act, says the Lord. 
That's one of my favorite Old Testament stories about the breath of God coming into things that are dead, things that don't have any life, giving us new life, giving us courage and empowerment to be the people that God has created us to be, to tell the story, to share how God has impacted our lives. I hope God is showing you new ways of being connected with people during this time. I know um, I'm discovering new things uh, that I didn't realize and connecting with people in new ways, and I hope that you're able to do that as well. I close today with a prayer. God, give us the courage to be strong, yet vulnerable. Give us the courage to risk and re-examine our comfortable patterns so that we and all others might experience the rich and full life you intend for all your creation. We pray all this through the love of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So I pray God's courage, God's breath, God's spirit for you during this time. Uh, please keep in prayer all those who are sick or who are dying. Remember those who are uh, caring for those who are sick. And please pray and connect with those who are, pray for and connect with those who are in isolation, those who might be lonely, um, those who are experiencing fear and anxiety during this time. So I wish you God's courage and blessing. God be with you.